Hey guys, welcome back to Ganji Plans. Uh, today I am going over sort of some general guidelines, but also specifically. Um, I am going to Comic Con this year. Um, as this video is going out, it has started. Um, and so I'm filming this as I'm getting ready to go. Um, and it's been, what, three years since they've had it. So there's uh, a lot of, I'm a bit rusty. You know, it's been a whole pandemic where I haven't been to any conventions. I've been to a few. Um, and so I have sort of honed and tweaked my planning um, procedure and the way that I approach conventions as the years have gone on. Um, things like having kids have also affected the way I do things. But today I was going to show you how I prepare to go to a convention, specifically in this case, Comic-Con San Diego 2022, um, in my planner and using digital methods as well. Um, so the first thing is to find the schedule online. Um, sometimes it's in an app, which is convenient. Other times it is in a website with a sort of janky interface and you just make do. But find the schedule as soon as it's posted and go through anything that sounds interesting at all. Put a little heart on it. Um, there's usually a way to favorite it or add it to a list. You know, sign into an account so that it saves everything for you and just heart or favorite anything and everything that sounds interesting at all. Um, you can go back through this later and pare it down of things that don't really sound interesting in the moment or that maybe on further reflection are not exactly what you thought they were based on the title. That happens a lot. Um, but just to go quickly through, it's like a five day convention. You make, you know, do this as quickly as you can to go through and just put anything that might be interesting because um, that's a, just a starting point. Next, what you really want to do is con determine your goals for the convention. This can be influenced by what you just saw in the schedule of panels. So if there's a lot of stuff that you are really interested in going to in the panels, then maybe that's your goal. Um, that has been mine in the past. I went to one Harry Potter con where like I was at a different panel every single hour of the entire day, barely got into the um, the vendor floor because of it. Um, but a lot of times you, your goal can be something different. It can be experiencing, um, you know, the, the cosplay and the um, people watching. It can be just sort of going for the vibe. It can be shopping for exclusives, which can involve a lot of standing in lines. Um, maybe your goal is to just stand in one major line. Maybe your goal is to stand in zero lines all weekend. Uh, maybe you want to go, you know, meet celebrities and get autographs. Um, make sure you research whether they're charging for that. Just pick a goal and try to um, let go of things that are side, like to the side of that goal. So if you want to do a lot of panels, you're not going to get a lot of chance to soak in the atmosphere and vice versa. You know, if you don't want to wait in a single line, you're not a going to get into the really A-list panels. Um, but there's a lot of really cool things to see that are not in Hall H, um, that are not the main stage events. Um, so you can find a lot of fun hidden gems if you're willing to just go with the flow a little bit. So on your actual planner, I suggest using something erasable, a friction pen or um, a pencil to try to get everything from your favorites list after you've pared it down a little bit. Um, everything that you might be interested in going to sort of mark it lightly on your planner page. Um, you still have your digital version that you can pull up on your phone um, and you'll also have a paper version when you get there. So you don't really need a lot of detail on that, but just to kind of see like, okay, on Thursday, it looks like everything's really busy in the morning, but I'm kind of free in the afternoon. That kind of thing um, is useful to know how many things you have to choose from because that favorites list is just treat it like a menu. You show up that day, you go, okay, well, instead of uh, 500 different events on the menu today, there's just this 15 list, you know, list of 15 things that I might be interested in going to. And these three are all happening at the same time. So I can choose one from column A, you know. Um, also make sure that you're noticing um, where the um, the different panels are taking place. You can the, use the paper uh, schedule is really useful for this because it'll often show you, at least the Comic-Con ones will show you um, time, up and down in the columns and then location will be vertical in the room. So it's um, often if you're trying to get into a higher, like a panel that more people are going to want to go to, 
a higher value panel, you can show up an hour or two early and see the panels that are in the room beforehand. Um, maybe your convention clears out rooms between panels, but Comic-Con does not. So you can camp out and see some interesting things that you weren't expecting to see and then get a good seat in the panel that you did want to see. So make sure that you're cross-referencing that. Also keep note somewhere of different room capacities. I find it's useful um, if you can find a list of capacities for every single room, then you um, can plan around that. You go, okay, well, this one, it's, you know, something about Star Wars. So it's going to be super popular. And it looks like this room is sort of a mid capacity. It's not that big. So if I really want to see this, I'm going to have to show up early because it's probably going to fill up because other people are doing the same thing as me. If it's in a giant room and it's a, a big thing, then maybe you'll only have to show up like an hour early or a little bit less than that. You'll still have to wait in a line, but you'll probably get in. Or you can also um, cross-reference and see if the thing before it is really popular. Um, maybe you'll have to show up even earlier. Or if the thing in before it is more popular than the thing you know, like say it's Star Wars, but before that it's like Teen Titans. And like maybe those don't cross over very much. And so a lot of people will leave because they don't really want to see the Star Wars thing or they want to go to something else. Maybe it's at the same time as something that's really big somewhere else. If you can kind of cross-reference that stuff, it can help you plan a little bit. Um, but all of this pre-work that we're doing, remember, it's all just for reference. It's all just to make a menu um, that you can choose from the day of. I like to really just make a game plan for the following day. In the evening, I'll sort of see how I feel energy-wise, how I feel about the next day. I'm like, today I waited in too many lines, tomorrow I don't want to do a lot of lines. Um, that kind of thing. So you can just sort of see how you feel and then plan for the next day and then just do that every evening. Um, and that way you're not trying to think about all of the stuff going on on Sunday when you're trying to focus on Thursday. Um, and then as you go, I do like to use ink to actually take note of the things I did do, just as sort of a memory keeping, um, how I spent my time. Um, it gives you an idea of, you know, realistically what actually got done. And then it helps you remember, oh yeah, that was the day that I did that thing. Use the other space around your um, hourly time logging. Um, anything else in your page, in your planner, to take note of shopping lists, budget, um, any sort of activities that are ongoing throughout the day, like maybe there's a drop-in event that you could just go to whenever you have some free time, you can make a list of those. Um, and also don't forget to research things like transportation and the locations of everything. You want to be able to know like where your hotel is, where parking is, um, on the map like make sure you have a map of the convention so you know where room one is in relation to room B. Um, and cause that also is, will uh, reflect or will be a factor in what you can get to, you know, cause if you, something ends at three o'clock and something starts at three o'clock and it's in, across the entire convention center, then like you won't be able to do that. But in the end of the day, just remember that like you're not going to be able to do everything. If you're going to try hard and like be really aggressive on getting as many things as you possibly can done, you can. You can focus real hard and get a lot of things done, but you're going to be crazy busy. But even then, you're not going to be able to see every single thing because you are inevitably, inevitably going to end up with two different panels that are happening at the same time. Um, and you just are going to have to make peace with the fact that you see what you see and you didn't see what you didn't see. And so just focus on enjoying what you're able to get to and you'll um, have a better time overall. Um, finally, follow me on Instagram because if you're watching this right now, I am um, posting stories over there. Um, it's Ganchi Plans, just like my channel here. And uh, I will hopefully see you there. You can comment and see what's, uh, what it's like. In the past, I've done daily vlogs, but that's not happening this year. I uh, hope you found some of these tips to be useful or interesting. Uh, I've sort of streamlined this process. It used to be uh, a bit more aggressive and things that I absolutely wanted to do and had to do. But this year I'm taking things a little bit more go with the flow. Um, as I mentioned, we have kids now and this will be our first con with three kids, possibly all there at the same time. Um, so it's going to be, you know, a bit more as it, you know, I, I'm going to let my, my four-year-old pick some of the stuff that we're doing, um, depending on like how much energy she has and what her interest level is as well. So, uh, that's why just having like a list of things to choose from is the best. All of that talking out of the way, have a great day. I hope you have a productive day and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video on Thursday. Bye.